So guys, and basketball dudes are like, this is the only land, and we are back uh, for these. These are the um, MB 0.2s, obviously. Um, before you do get into that, do me a favor, like button, subscribe, and if you like what you've seen before, or you like what you see today. Um, before we get into that, I am wearing these. These are the Harachis. Uh, the collab with um, who the hell is this collab with? Oh. This is the Stussy Club. Yeah, I forgot. So this is the Stussy Club. Uh, really like these really comfortable pair of shoes. Um, and I'm glad I have them. I have the video up there somewhere. Someone will show you. Um, and let's really just get directly into these. Um, I guess we could start. <laughs> I guess we could start with traction. Um, that's usually what I go to. And... I feel like I have a differing opinion than everyone else on the traction when it comes to these. Um, I don't know why. Uh, maybe people are playing on nicer courts than me, or or I don't know. But I will show you guys an image of the first time I wore these on a court, and it was just the court wasn't even that bad. It just like they inhale dust. They just suck in so much dust. And to be honest, the grooves in this aren't really aren't really that thick and I think and they're not really that spread apart and I think that might be one of the reasonings for why to me personally it was so bad I don't I really don't play on a clean court to be honest there should it seems like no one's doing courts these days like they're not waxing the courts or whatever not cleaning them so it's like you're you're playing on a decent to mediocre court uh, and these just couldn't hold up at all like it was hit or miss for the most part if you're doing like a very very hard stop, it's just you're, you're sliding. You don't you don't have an option. You're sliding, and even the last time that I tested these, the uh, the court was the court was not bad. It was like a this is like not like oh just your regular. You just go to the corner court. What? This is like a, a big company. They have three courts, so that they're, they're constantly cleaning it, and I just I couldn't make a solid move in these without feeling like I was slipping everywhere. Um, Super disappointing to me. Uh, for me, that really it it destroys a shoe. Um, it it makes the value of the shoe to me go down. Like for me personally. Um, but like I said, I looked at other people's reviews, and it seems no one had the same issues that I did, which is weird. Um, not that people said they loved the traction, but no one said that they hated it, and I hate the traction. Like it's it's the, it's easily by far the worst part of the shoe, and there's more that I don't like. So it's I, I don't know. And then for cushioning, um, I don't know if you guys remember, you have that compression uh, foam in there, and then you have the two nitrogen infused pucks in the heel and the forefoot. And I don't think it was bad, um, but I feel like it was a downgrade on uh, the court feel end of just like the softness uh, compared to the first model um, to be honest just the overall I feel like not everything was a drawback but a lot of the stuff was a drawback from the first model um, it just I feel like I lost court feel on that and that's not something that I usually ever even really notice um, I don't really notice when shoes are that high um, but it's when it's, it's com when you're comparing it it's like this one is just so much so much higher off the ground um i don't know the, the cushioning is good i'm sure it's good for for certain people i'm sure certain people love these um when it comes to cushioning but i always compare the the model before to what they want to do on the second one um and it's either that the the player didn't like something on the first one or that they're trying to upgrade and i didn't feel like this was an upgrade so i'm feeling like maybe this was something that he felt that he might like more than what was in the first one um, and you'll more than likely see see them go backwards if he didn't like it so they'll go back to what they had in the first model and then they'll just improve on something else um, maybe right maybe they'll just go somewhere completely different um, and that does happen um, they'll use a completely different cushioning and a completely different upper and it'll just be a completely different shoe like the Braun 20s which is just nothing like the last three four models at all um but that's that on cushioning for lockdown um 
you have pretty much the same the same lockdown in these that you had in the first pair um, and I'll actually grab a pair of the first so height wise I feel like um, obviously uh, the the second one is a, the MB 0.2 is a little bit higher height wise but um, lockdown wise it's it's essentially the same I know I remember saying that the tongue was a little short on this and it took a little to get used to but the lockdown was still good regardless I know I had to use the top eyelet for this and I didn't use it for this one but that's because these are just higher but I didn't have any issues with lockdown in this at all at all there there was literally no issues and that is the best part of what I feel Puma has done with the the line so far it's the lockdown you're not sliding you're not going anywhere in these um, and that's like a major major thing for me too lockdown if I feel like I'm slipping out of them and if I feel like I'm slipping in them meaning traction then they're they're really just a no-go um, for me for the upper and for material there's really just nothing that's like super memorable about it to be honest uh, I think some of these uh, fuse fuse panels on here and all the stuff that was layered on top of it I feel like it was a little stiff compared to this which just felt like a knitted kind of like a, a knit it felt like a knitted upper um, it felt a little stiff but once you warmed up and you're playing in it you're not really feeling that anyways but there was just no like major change to to the upper to make me even really think about it like we didn't go from a KD 12 which had like that uh, um, I forgot what they what they even called it that I don't remember it, it was supposed to be like when you push on to it it tightens up or whatever to like a KD 13 which I just had something completely different there, there wasn't like this amazing upper and to be honest uppers to me unless there's they're not letting in any air at all they all do the same thing and they all do the same job pretty well um, you're not like you're not wearing a Hirachi where you feel like you're gonna slide out uh, and breathability does nothing for me so breathability I didn't even realize it to be honest um, I'm sure I'm sure it has some of it uh, I just I just didn't feel anything like there was like I said nothing memorable to me about the upper on this pair here um, I did think it was cool like how they implemented um, I think it was the rare in here I think it spells rare if I'm not mistaken I just don't remember how I think I think it's cool to look at but for performance wise it's just it is what it is um, and to be honest I don't think there's really anything else um, I will say that I did feel um, I did feel the puck and I think the forefoot and I always say if I feel anything in the forefoot that means it's it's decently comfortable um, I usually don't feel anything in my forefoot at all because I don't really use my forefoot as much. Um, it's just not. It's just not something that I use. I know most basketball players they're on their forefoot all the time. It's just not me. Um, but I did feel the puck on there, and it. From what I wrote here, it was strangely comfortable. Whatever that means. Um, but I think that's it on these. There's just not. To me, they're a disappointment. Sorry. From, from going to what I believe I had as one of my top three of 2022, um, this is like a major disappointment for me, especially with the traction. If I can't grip the floor, I just can't use the sneakers as much as I want to, or I can't push them to the limits that I feel like I want to push them to. Um, yeah, I won't even put them in the bag. They'll go in the box and I'll never touch them again, to be quite frank with you. I I feel like I want to give them a second chance in another colorway, and maybe that's what it is. But even the reviews that I saw for this colorway, they all, nobody said anything about the traction. So, I don't know. Maybe I just got a bad pair. Sometimes I think about that. When, when I get a pair of sneakers and people are like, oh yeah, the traction's okay on these. And I'm like, no, they're not. I don't I sometimes I don't get it I really don't maybe my pair was messed up um, maybe you guys think I'm lying <laughs> if you guys think I'm lying on here uh, I don't I don't know I don't they just didn't perform the way I wanted or expected them to and uh, and they go in the box and never go in the bag I'll never put a probably never put them on again to play with unfortunately um, that's it thank you guys for watching um, I do have um, 
news about the Why Not 0.6, the Jason Tatums, the Ja Ones. Um, what else do I have? Uh, I'm either going to pick up the PG 6s or the Zoom Freak 4s uh, before this surgery in two weeks and see if I can get like the amount of time that I feel I need to get in the sneakers um, before the surgery and then put a review out. And for now, that's like the main things that I have to put out and then we'll see what else I can include in there. But that is it. Thank you guys for watching. Do me a favor, hit the like button and subscribe button. If you like what you've seen before, you like what you saw today. This is the only lane. I'm out, out of here. Y'all have a good one.